Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there during these scary times. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to give yourself a self-isolation haircut using only a beard trimmer. So the reason why I'm using a beard trimmer rather than a set of proper clippers is because I assume the majority of you have access to a beard trimmer at home. The only reason I have these is because I cut my girlfriend's brother's hair and her dad's hair with these. I literally just give them a skinhead. The only benefit of having these is that it has a little handle here which allows for micro adjustments. Now that is handy when you wanna make a nice clean fade. Will we be achieving a nice clean fade today? I don't really think so. So we're just gonna get stuck in with these, focusing on the sides and the back just to tidy things up. We're not gonna worry about the top too much. It's all about the style on top anyway. So what you will need is one beard trimmer and you will also need a mirror here and a mirror there. So two mirrors. The mirror behind is so you can see what you're doing behind your head, very important. I've never, ever, ever cut my own hair before, so if there is any barbers watching this, please do not judge. I'm literally just guessing, and I know you probably shouldn't be using a beard trimmer, but self-isolation, quarantine, calls for desperate measures, and we need to tidy those sides up. So, let's give it a go. Wow. Don't really know what to say. Wish I'd never started this. We now have the baseline of what I assume is gonna be the fade, but I can't really imagine that that's gonna blend in too well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, that was a number three, and by the way, on this razor it says three millimeters. I presume that that is different to what's on a normal barber's clippers. I actually have no idea, I couldn't tell you. But that seems pretty short for a three. That seems more like a one to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna move from a three, I'm gonna skip 3.5, and I'm gonna go to like 4.5 or five, and kind of smooth it in a bit, and then we'll gradually go down from there. Let's just see what happens. Realistically, we don't want to go too high because then we've ruined the whole haircut itself and it can't be fixed. So as long as it's fixable, that's all that matters really. So let's go in for five. We'll take a little bit higher up to like here and then we'll be able to blend the rest in. I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. And the hand-eye coordination, by the way, is all over the place. It's not going very well at all, but we must stay positive. We can do it. Okay, so at this point, I don't really know what to do. I'm presuming this is where the barber would use scissors to kind of blend things in a little easier. What we're gonna do, however, is go from 3.5, went from 3.5 to 4.5 to five to six. What we're gonna do is use a 10 and try and take it up a tiny little bit higher and see if we can then blend down a little bit more and see if we can get things neatened up slightly. But I don't think we're doing too bad. I think it just needs to be a little bit higher. A little bit higher and we're, we're good to go. Let's make a weird noise. Oh God, we've got no battery. Let's keep going until it runs out. Okay, so it's not even cutting anymore. I think what we're gonna do is put this on charge of half an hour. Hopefully it only takes half an hour and have a quick rest. Right, because I have no idea at all how to blend that thick line. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly ring my barber, video call him, and we'll see what he has to say. Five minutes later. Ah, it's good, no answer. So we're sat here with no barber to provide us with some help. Our beard trimmer is now out of battery, and this haircut is, has not gone to plan. So. 
Okay, so the clippers have been on charge for 15 minutes. I cannot wait any longer. We need to get this finished, so. Okay, so what we're doing is we're using a number seven and we're literally just flicking, trying to cut in to some of the thickness around the side. And we're gonna gradually work down from a seven to a six, to a five, to a 4.5, to a four until we have it nicely blended, so. It's very important to use the flicking. So up, flick, up, flick, when you hit that line. When it cuts my thickness out, but I don't know how we're gonna do that. Honestly, I think that is pretty decent. Like, that is not bad at all. From the side, that is not bad. I think we're getting somewhere. I really do think we're getting somewhere. Obviously, it's not nicely blended. What do you expect? But it's not bad. Now to do this side. Kind of sick of my life. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and I know I said I was only gonna use a beard trimmer, but we're not doing too well at this. So what we're gonna do is get the real barber's clippers out and see if we can fix this thing up. If we can, then this video will have had some success. If not, then my hair is absolutely f***ed, and you can watch this video for entertainment purposes rather than how-to tutorial purposes. Oh, and what do you know? I said that three millimeters seemed quite short. For some reason I thought on the beard trimmer that three millimeters would be a number three. I was completely wrong. Three millimeters is in fact a number one. That's why it's so short. God, I've really messed this up. I'm presuming what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from a number one to a 1.5 to a two and we're gonna do the open and close guard to even fix this up once and for all. To be honest, can you cut your hair at home with a beard trimmer? Yes, you can. Will you make a mess of it? More than likely. I actually think that we're gonna be able to fix it. Open guard. I think it's getting a tiny bit better. We are making some progress. It's definitely not the best haircut in the world, but we are getting there. Let's do it! This is way, way better to use than a beard trimmer. It's literally so much easier and I can see that we're actually getting somewhere because we can actually control the, I don't know what we can control to be honest, but we're controlling something better, which is leaving better results. Number four. For me personally, this side here is done. Like, it's definitely not getting any better than that. I'm gonna do the other side quickly. Hopefully they'll both be at the same height. And after I've done that, we'll style it and we'll see what it looks like. I'll give you a full spin and we can give an honest opinion out of 10. So far, my advice, my only advice is do not cut your hair at home yourself. Right, what I'm gonna do now is trim up my beard and then style my hair and we'll have a look. We'll compare the before and after and see how we're looking. Hopefully not too bad once we get a little bit of product in there.
guys, so that is the finished product. It's definitely not the worst ever. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not the worst. And I think I'm gonna continue cutting my hair myself. Because that only took four hours. I'll give you a quick spin. I think the back, I can't tell you. I don't really know what the back looks like. But it doesn't matter because I can't see the back myself anyway. So what does it matter? Only the people who are behind me will be judging, not in front. So that's all that matters. And I'm not seeing anyone for however much longer this self-isolation quarantine thing lasts anyway. So hopefully it's got time to grow back nicely before I go and see my barber again because he will be most disappointed if I turn up and that's how I've cut my hair myself. He's probably gonna see this anyway, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it provided some entertainment. I'm sad I didn't give you really any value in that video, but I hope I entertained you anyway. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Does the back really look that bad? Please tell me if it does look that bad because I have no idea.